Today I have with me Roger L. Jackson, voice actor extraordinaire who is responsible for the voices behind the Mask of Scream, Mojo Jojo, uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and also Fallout 4, and just dozens and dozens of other amazing games. Roger, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. So, Roger, tell us a little bit about your background and some of your favorite characters. Well, uh, generally I say my favorite character is the next one. <laughs> it means I'm working. That's what I like. I just like exercising skill, craft. And uh, I started out just imitating things as a kid, and I got into puppetry. And so I had to do voices for the puppets, which led to theater, and of course... I worked as a commercial artist, and uh, I studied to become an actor, but um, had to let that go for a few years. And then I got back into it a few years later. And what were some of your first characters? Oh, brother. Uh, <laughs> I think one of the first ones I did was for uh, King's Quest. I did a multi-headed man-eating plant that <laughs> sang and harmonized with its own heads. Fantastic. And uh, some ghoul kids. And, uh, boy. So, uh, t talk about some of your favorite characters, like uh, Mojo Jojo. Could you bring Mojo Jojo to the, uh, to the, to the uh, screen here real quick? No. I absolutely <laughs> refuse. If there's a Mojo who brings a me up. <laughs> That's it's, it's fun when I go. I like going to the cons to, to meet the fans and talk to people. And, yeah. Uh, and it's funny that people people enjoy Ghostface, but people really love Mojo Jojo. Yeah. Which I am just so thrilled about. I think the nicest compliment I ever got was uh, Tom Kane, who plays Professor Utonium on that mm -hmm. show, uh, told me after the episode aired where Mojo finds out he's responsible for the creation of the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. And it ends with him going... It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Fantastic. And he picked up his daughter and her friends from school, and they were crying because they felt sorry for Mojo. Oh, wow. That was the, <laughs> the nicest thing I could have heard. So let's hear an I am Mojo Jojo, please. I am Mojo Jojo, and you are not. <laughs> but if you are good to me... Free puppies for you! <laughs> Fantastic. And another one of my favorite characters of yours is from Mass Effect 3, Erdnot, the, uh, uh, the alien. Erdnot Reed, what do you want, human? Fantastic. I can't stand the smell. Can we get this over with quick so I can get away from you people? <laughs> and how about Mass Effect 3? Oh, that was a great game. Yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah, because I got to do Paddock Wicks, too, who was completely different. Paddock mm -hmm. Wicks, who was a bit more sort of like um, Roddy McDowell, in a way. <laughs> though he wasn't British. He just yeah. spoke very fast. A Syrian, right? Or a Sarian, I think is how they're... The, that race, the Sarian race, with the the big heads and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, very they, cool. They pitch shifted a little, too. Yeah. But. Well, awesome. And so today we're going to be working with Dehumanizer. What do you think of Dehumanizer? Cool. They could do digitally now what I've been working for my whole life. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Just trying out different things. I can't wait to hear monster sound pushed through a monster filter. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll go check it out here in just a second. And uh, what do you think about uh, the characters for Vainglory that uh, Sarah's written? Churnwalker. Oh, it's all in the writing. The writing is the best. Because when when the writing is good, it's it's easy. Just like with Scream and you know, it's all there yep. in the script. And what do you think about the language that she created? Has that uh, been a challenge? or? Oh, no, I love that sort of thing. I continually practice uh, odd alien dialects and things. When I was a kid, actually, I went to the uh, downtown Atlanta library where I grew up. Yep. And I would uh, check out foreign language records, not to learn the language, but just practice imitating something that sounded like Swahili or, oh, that's or Arabic or whatever. Yeah. So so you've always had a talent and always had an ear for music and language and things like that. Yeah. That's well, Roger, why they made me Greedo. <laughs> Don't be jale. Isopato chakatiana masa. 
Fantastic. Roger, thank you very much for being here today at Somatone. Thank you. We really appreciate you. And thank we'll you. see you in the booth. Boom!